Is SEI the Solana killer? Welcome to Crypto Simulation Theory. I'm the Gaussian Snick. Feel free to join my Telegram group, the Snick Pit, for daily chart analyses, market updates, and an awesome community of like-minded investors just like me and you. Today I'm going to talk about SEI, a relatively new layer one blockchain that is in competition with Solana to be the fastest blockchain out there. Is it? Is this a good investment that you should consider in your portfolio? Now, I'll give you my opinion, but this is not intended to be financial advice. You should do your own research before you buy anything in the crypto market and definitely don't just listen to some random YouTuber like me. Do your own research. That being said, on the other hand, um, I do wanna let you know that I do not own SEI, although I am familiar with the project. Um, I can't own everything, so. Uh, but I still do like what this project has to offer and I'd like to do a detailed breakdown of it as well as a price analysis. So SEI introduced something called the parallel stack. And this is to address the problem that all Ethereum virtual machine blockchains or EVM blockchains are single threaded. Um, SEI Labs is sort of guessing that developers are going to prefer a parallelized um, approach to blockchain as opposed to the um, traditional one. And what they like about it is that it can give you higher performance and scalability and not just lower fees like Solana offers, but also more opportunity to scale out. And so this is what sets SEI apart from other blockchains. And you can see this is the, what's called the parallel stack. You've got the parallel stack execution layer, which is a parallel EVM, the sequencing layer, customizable settlement layer and a customizable DA layer, which is a data availability layer. SEI is not just intended to compete with layer ones, but it's also intended to compete with layer twos because it says right here, this is, this is being tailored to significantly enhance the Ethereum ecosystem, targeting performance bottlenecks that a lot of layer two blockchains face. And this is achieved by using advances in modern, modern hardware, um, allowing them to reduce transaction fees and make the user experience more open and accessible. So this is not only going to be developer friendly, but also user friendly. They've gone as far as to say that SEI's parallel stack will be the default model for all Ethereum layer two solutions. So it's a pretty bold claim in this space that's full of all kinds of solutions, including Polygon's Ag Layer and other ones. So two of the uh, founders of SEI are available here on Crunchbase. We've got Jeff Fang and Jayendra Jog, and I may be mispronouncing their names, but it's nice to see um, nice to see the people you know actually doc spaces visible here. You can't say that for all companies. SCI Labs is based out of New York, New York, and they have about between 11 and 50 employees, according to this website. On their homepage, they claim to have a 380 millisecond time to finality of transactions, which is extremely fast, be able to process 12,500 TPS, and have processed over 1.2 billion transactions already. They're backed by some big names, Circle, Multicoin multi Capital, Jump, Coinbase, Delphi Digital. And they claim to address the trilemma problem very well with speed, scalability, and um, they are a little bit weak on the decentralization front, but that's something that they do intend to improve. These are some talking points that SEI is highly secure. It is massively scalable, engineered to evolve. So it's, it's meant to be adaptable to developers and customers needs, merging applications, Carbon neutral, I can think of one other chain, Avalanche, and also think about Algorand that are kind of in this realm, and built with speed. So speed is an important thing. We know that Solana has been remarkably successful because of their incredibly fast speed of transactions. Their GitHub is quite active with 1,211 commits. You can see tons of stuff here on their GitHub, very well organized. This is their Block Explorer SEI scan. You know, you've seen Solana scan or Soul scan. Um, looks a little bit similar, but anyways, you can kind of see here. This is, um, you can go to transactions, see all the transactions here. 
blocks, validators, proposals, codes, contracts. They've got a bridge. This uses Wormhole. And so you can go from Ethereum, Solana, Polygon, Arbitrum, BNB Smart Chain, Osmosis, On Cosmos, Optimism, Noble, and Kava to SEI. And back. And so you can connect here. This is a you know third-party bridge, which uh, personally, I'm not, you know, a huge fan of using third-party bridges. I prefer native bridges, but um, it is powered by Wormhole, and Wormhole is a very reputable name in the bridge space. So I have some DeFi um, staking. You can earn 4.11% APR. There's 39 active validators, and 99.4% of tokens are bonded. So Solana obviously has way more validators than this. This is the point I'm going to make in a second. But you can see the different staking pools and the APRs range seem to be average about 5%. There's one here that's 20%. I'd be careful with that. <laughs> not, not a great idea to go after those super high interest ones because those are usually too good to be true. Um, yeah, so this is a way to earn more SEI, but there's a reason why you're staking because you're trying to combat inflation, which this token does have. Breaking down the tokenomics, um, inflation doesn't really matter that much in a bull market, to be honest with you but it is something that you, you do probably want to take into consideration. So according to CoinMarketCap, um, the current total market cap that's fully, sorry, sorry, the current fully diluted market cap is about $4.6 billion, of which only 1.3, 1.4 billion is circulating. Uh, volume looks good, almost $100 million in 24-hour volume. Volume market cap ratio is outstanding at 7%. But yeah, inflation definitely is a bit of a concern here. I think, um, once again, in its first cycle, it's not something you have to worry about too much, but definitely something to think about in the future. And this is the smart contract with Osmosis through Cosmos. So just check that out. SEI is available all over the place, as you can see here, on tons of centralized exchanges and decentralized exchanges, so you shouldn't have a problem finding it. They have a detailed white paper. Yeah, I actually accessed this through CoinMarketCap. It was a little bit hard for me to find on their website. So you can check this out if you're interested in learning more of the details about SEI or your developer. I'm not going to go through all this with you. They have a very massive Twitter following, 667,000 followers, and they are very good about updating their Twitter. So every day they're posting stuff multiple times a day. So be sure to check that out, learn about some of their partnerships. They also have a blog, they have a Telegram, they have the GitHub link here and Discord in addition to the Twitter that I just mentioned. So I borrowed this from James from Invest Answers. I think he did a pretty good job listing out some uh, talking points about SEI versus Solana from a fundamentals point of view. And so he mentions here that SEI is a layer one blockchain built using the Cosmos Software Development Kit and Tendermint Core. It's building a scalable and interoperable blockchain optimized for DeFi. Um, SEI is drastically less decentralized than Solana, but Solana has been around longer. So I would just say, give it some time. SEI will get there, but SEI is three times faster than Solana when it comes to transaction finality. However, SEI only has four developer, four developers, um, at the time of this was written to 322 weekly developers for Solana. Again, Solana has been around a lot longer. Um, inflation is going to burden Sol uh, SEI a lot more than it's going to burden Solana. Solana's already seen a lot of its inflation realized. Um, we've already talked about total value lock, TVL. Um, oh, actually, we didn't talk about that. TVL uh, for SEI is 10.6 million, 1.252 billion for Solana at the time of this writing. Um, yeah, so I, I do agree that, you know, it is risky to, to take on a chain like Solana. Um, Solana is faster, it's more decentralized, it's got a, a, it's got a uh, stronger reputation, but that doesn't mean that there isn't a place for SEI and that SEI can't be competitive to Solana. So what I'd like to look at next are the price charts and see, um, well specifically SEIs and kind of see where we're at. So this is a chart of Solana versus SEI, just to compare the two, and it's been mostly sideways. You can see that Solana outperformed SEI pretty massively when SEI first came out. But then SEI outperformed Solana 
from about November till February of this year, and now Solana is outperforming SEI again. Hard to say exactly what happens next, or if this just kind of you know chops around. One would expect SEI to outperform Solana because it is a lower market cap project. So to see that Solana is keeping pace with SEI does concern me a little bit. You know, this even though this project is less than a year old, um, it is a little bit concerning. I don't know if it's something that I would react too much to though, because we don't have a whole lot of data to work from. And you can see here that when SCI launched, it did what a lot of projects do, which is just kind of crab around at lower levels before finally getting a base, look like in October, and then moving upwards. Now, I will say that SCI is holding up a lot better than some other projects, but the weighted bolt logarithmic like bullion bands are squeezing while SCI is in the bottom of the channel, so that's generally not a good thing. So we may see some price weakness from SEI. Um, SEI's all-time high was about $1.15, give or take, and it is now trading at it uh, over 50% down, around, we'll just call it like 47 cents, 40, well, it's down here, 46.2 cents. So if we were to take a measured move from the top to where we are now, that is roughly a 58% decline. Not terrible, pretty average as far as corrections go for newer altcoin projects. But what does interest me here is how the Bollinger Band squeezed and they're now opening and it looks like they're opening to the downside. So, but honestly, most altcoins are doing this. Let's take a look at SEI's uh, Bitcoin pair strength. Not great. <laughs> so it spent half of its time in the green going down and then it's now deep in the red. So unless SEI ends up having something explosive come out for it, the fact is it has been in the red against Bitcoin um, since April 10th. And, you know, but, but of course this is the Mansfield RSI, it, it's a limited data set. So I think probably what we should look at, and so this very limited data set that only goes back two months, really not, can't draw too much of a conclusion other than it's bleeding against Bitcoin right now. Of course it is it's going down further than Bitcoin is going. Most coins they look like this. Let's look at SEI versus Bitcoin on the chart since we can't get a great reading on the Mansfield. So when you look at the overall chart, it looks a lot better. You had a pretty nice move against Bitcoin um, in late 2023. We wanna take a measured move. I think the bottom looks like it was right here in November to this, it was like a triple top almost. I can't really even tell what the highest high was. We'll just say that was about a 5.5X against Bitcoin. Not bad, not bad. It's since retraced um, down to this horizontal support zone. So, and it looks like we might be inflecting. So I, I think that this project stands a chance of having another very substantial leg up, um, especially if this blockchain catches on with developers. I mean, it has some pretty nice backing and it's, it's fairly new. So, um, but you know, it is in Solana's shadow for now. So um, it's gonna really have to bring something to the table that Solana doesn't bring. And I know that transaction finality is one of those things, but the question is, does it bring enough overall? Like most charts, it doesn't look good right now, right? So um, this is pretty much your typical altcoin chart right now while Bitcoin is kind of doing its thing and dominance is going up. So SEI has been trying so hard to get above its 100 day and it just can't do it. It is now trending below not only the 100 day, but also the 50 and the 200. And not only that, but it looked like we were about to have a golden cross of the 50 with the 100. Of course, this is a very unconvincing golden cross. And I'll bet you this just ends up having another death cross probably. Now the question is, is 42.14 cents the bottom? Um, it could be, it could be. Let's turn on the VRVP. Let's see what that has to say. So we are at um, kind of at the last stop before there's another gap. I would say if this level doesn't hold, probably 37 cents would be the next level I watch for, but there's absolute brick wall support around a quarter, which is uh, right around the price that this um, hit after this massive wick down. So um, massive sell off, looks like an airdrop. So yeah, I, I think that could happen. Um, we could get down to 25 cents and that would represent if that happened from this high of a dollar 16 give or take you know you're talking about a 78 percent correction not uncommon for any new altcoin sorry i don't know what i just did 
not uncommon for a new altcoin to have that kind of correction. So that would be an area I'd be watching for if things get too much worse. I think it is definitely a reasonable area to expect. There's a lot of horizontal support in the 25 cent region. Should this not, you know, this double bottom not hold in my anticipation is it doesn't. I do, I do think this will probably drop another 50%. I think it's quite likely. While it's hard to see, you can see the bears are gaining control on the daily. This is bull bear power trend. And no doubt in my mind, we are probably falling further. The price momentum indicator has been printing, you know, it, it looked like it might have had like a bullish divergence here, but I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's likely to sustain itself. I'm thinking that we have to at least come down here once. Most projects do before we, we get, you know, that, see, that deep value zone, I think, which is around a quarter. The beam on SCI did get quite hot at one point on the daily, getting all the way up to 0.55, which is still in my hold zone. I don't usually take profits. And with, with projects like this, unless I'm above 0.65, again, I don't hold this project. Um, we are getting down in near the undervaluation zone. I actually think we probably will hit some undervaluation levels. 25 cents would be quite a deep value for SEI. Snabble RSI is going exactly where we need to go. So for those of you who think we might have already bottomed and this is the bottom, which there's a chance that it is, we have hit extreme undervaluation levels on the Snabble RSI. We hit it on April 13th and we hit it again on May 14th. This could be it. This could be the higher low that we need to get back up. I don't know. My expectation is we come back up and go back down for a third time. I just, I feel like 25 cents is like a magnet. Maybe I'm being too greedy, right? But just with the way everything's turned down, I don't think that this is the sign of reversal. I think it's a sign of maybe some mean reversion. Perhaps we get up here a little bit, draw another one of these, you know, yellow things that goes up, but then come back down again. I don't know that we have to come down as low as we did here, but I do think we could we could definitely see a downturn. Let's see what this looks like on the weekly. I'm just curious. I'm just not a lot of data to analyze. So on the weekly, um, it looks like a head and shoulders that needs to just kind of uh, put its foot in the sand. So I think the weekly needs to come down here, okay, into this region and then work its way back up from there. So I think that could correspond to that drop, that final drop I'm talking about that could take us into this region here. So what is my not financial advice opinion? Well, if I were in the market looking to buy some SEI, and it definitely is on my interest list, I probably would be looking to start accumulating it soon. And I would have an eye on this red region in here. I should extend this up a little and move this out of the way. So I would say somewhere, I don't know, like around 25 cents to maybe 31 cents. To me, that would be deep value if we get down there, even if we wick to it. I think it's okay to start be seeing it relatively soon, especially, you know, on the risk that this could be a double bottom. So maybe just putting a small amount in and then getting more aggressive as we come down. And if we get to this red region, I would go in really aggressively there. I don't think we go below there um, based on a lot of different things. BRVP, psychological support level, um, horizontal support is the strongest, all kinds of stuff. So that's kind of my uh, base case for SEI. Now, do I think that SEI is going to outdo Solana? No, I do not. Solana has first mover advantage. I think Solana is also improving. They've been around longer, they're bigger. But I do, I, I do think that SEI could have some developer-specific preferences. I think some people might enjoy using it, and I think it can serve a purpose in this space. Now, how high do I think SEI could go? Well, I looked at Solana's market cap, and you know, right now I think Solana's market cap is somewhere around sixty something billion dollars. I think SEI could get to that market cap. I think. Somewhere between 40 and 70 billion is doable at the height of a bull market, which would represent a 40 to 70 X from where we're at now, potentially even more than that if we drop more. Now, everything has to kind of, you know, there's so much competition in the layer one space, so much. And so you have to keep that in mind too. So while I think SCI is capable of getting to a $60 billion market cap, I don't know that it will. 
for all we know, it could get to a 20 to 30 billion market cap or even a 10 billion market cap and call it a day. But still, I think it has a lot of potential as a layer one blockchain. I think they are offering something unique and um, they're, you know, they're brand new. There's a lot of excitement. So let's see how they grow. I personally would not make this investment a large part of my portfolio um, just because of the speculative nature of it. But I think holding a small percentage in SEI could make sense. Again, that's just what I would do. You do whatever you feel is best. Thank you for joining me again in the crypto simulation. I hope you're learning a lot at this channel. Please subscribe if you enjoy the content, like and comment on this video with your thoughts, and join my free telegram group, The Snack Pit, for daily chart analyses, market updates, and a solid community of people just like you and me who are here to make some money, some serious cash. Nothing in this video is going to be considered financial advice. I am Legowski and Snick, and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye.